Yeah, so this is how I got involved with End Hunger UK. They did a competition with the Poetry Society, uh, and I, I saw it the night before the deadline. I had a, an exam the next day, but I was like, no, I'm going to do this. Um, and then I did, and they liked it, apparently. So, um, yeah, also, first of all, like, shout out for Aaron, Aaron Nah, like, um, like, bigging me up like that. That's very awesome. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is bread lines. Give us this day our daily bread. So said the unfeds, give us it because the baby's half dead. Because when Susie's heading to the banks, she doesn't mean that, West. There won't be any point anyway. They have crops the Lord's Prayer. They want one thing from the divine daily bread, hence why when we talk about poverty, we call it the bread line. Well, one pound eighty-five means you're buying some red wine and the Daily Mail's headlines and vague minds like head lice. And on the corner near home bargains, Aidan waits on the paves. He'll gladly accept your coppers, but is desperate for change. Tin cans and plastic bags lovingly arranged, he tells me. This is the food fight. This here is the Hunger Games. And little Benny's tummy is rumbling. He calls out to eat something. And mummy's coming, but in her hand, she's carrying nothing. And he's crying again. Off he goes, but... Little does he know his mum hasn't eaten for three days in a row and sometimes, see, sometimes I hope that I'm seeing fake news on the television. Because what I'm seeing is so shocking I want it to be fiction. Then I hear complaints from my mates when even the snacks out of date are out of their price ranges and I don't mean to make this an issue of religion but with these prices still rising these fruits remain forbidden. I'm not a cynic. But it's ridiculous. When the 1% are still fattened up like chickens how is this still an issue in Britain? How here do 8 million still struggle to get food into their kitchens and why are those worst affected including one in five children? And yet these issues are still hidden. These stories remain unwritten and nobody's listening. But the thing with Pandora's box is there's still hope within it. And that hope comes from the times when I've seen people looking out for their neighbours even those normally cautious with their wages. And yet, when I see people collecting donations, it's not the suits that are paying up, it's the teenagers. Random acts of bravery every day by the nameless. So, forget God. Stop waiting for other people's miracles, because I reckon that 5,000 can be fed without divine intervention. So, give us this day our daily bread. Or at least give us the means. Because we'll manage the rest. Thank you.